In this video, we're gonna go step by step how to set up digital products to sell on a Canva website. My name's Sammy, I'm here with Digi. We help people just like you share hope, healing, and light online. We make a lot of videos about Canva, but we do talk about digital communications as a whole. But that's enough chatting, let's get into the step by step. First things first, we gotta set up our payment processor. We like to use Stripe, you can use whatever works best for you. As you can see from the top of the screen, we are in test mode right now. So from the Stripe dashboard, we're gonna select payments along the left side of the screen, or you can click the plus button at the top. We want to create a payment link, so select that option, and that's going to take us to a screen where we're going to set up our digital product. Now, you really only have to set up this product once, and then you can put this link in multiple places. So, give it the details it needs, fill out the features, the pricing, you're only going to do this once for each product. When you're entering the product name, Stripe is going to recognize it as a new product that it hasn't seen before, and a new dialog box will pop up where you can enter a description, you can upload an image, you can specify price, taxes, etc. Once you've entered all the information in just like you like it, click add product. Now here's the very most important part of this whole video. So before we get to the important part, you gotta click the tab after payment and you wanna leave the show confirmation page selected. Now check replace default with custom message because after this message, whatever you wanna say, like thank you for buying my product, you want to be sure to paste the URL link of the actual digital product. Now you can mask this link with a bit.ly link, you can shorten any kind of Google links that you want, or you can use another free service to make your link nice and pretty, but you cannot forget this link because this is what people will see after they've paid you. And if they don't get anything after they've paid you, they're not gonna be happy. If it's in Google Docs or another file repository like Google Docs, make sure you mark it as shareable. Test that out because the worst thing that you could do is to sell this thing to people and then them not be able to access it. Once you've got all that in, you click create link and hang on to that link. And before we get to adding this link to our Canva website and all of our best practices with that, I gotta talk about another software that is extremely important if you use Canva for any of your social media content creation. We love Canva, we've been using it since its very beginning and think it's a fantastic tool for all levels of use. But we still know social media can be very overwhelming to just constantly be posting and posting and posting. So Canva helps you create it, but later.com is our favorite tool for helping you actually get that content out there. You can batch schedules so that you just literally do that one day a week or even one day a month and you plan out the whole month, get it all out there. It will post it on multiple platforms. It is such a lifesaver. Highly recommend you check it out. And if you want to do so for free, we have a link below for 14 day free trial. This is going to help you get ahead of the game so you can actually market this digital product that you're selling because you know you can't just like post it and ghost, right? But you can post and ghost your social media if you really want to. So schedule those social media posts to tell people about this product. Not too much. You don't want to overwhelm them with selling. We, we talked about that before in other videos, right? But let later.com help you get ahead of the game so you don't have to post every single day and be thinking, oh, what am I going to post today? No, you can get ahead on that. So free link, two weeks, check it out, in and out. If you don't like it, schedule a bunch of content while you're in there. All right, let's talk about the Canva website setup. So create your product page as desired, you know, put the features, the pricing, the images, etc. We've got a fake one here just set up for funsies. It's probably the best that you use the word buy for the button that you want people to click to take them to this sales link page we just created. Or if you need to use some other kind of specific wording that indicates that someone needs to click this button, it's not gonna look totally like a button. It won't be as obvious as other websites. This is one of the downfalls of Canva. We do have a Canva websites pros and cons video linked above and below, which dives into more of the pros and cons of a Canva website. We also just created a video on pros and cons of selling your digital products on a Canva website, and those are different than the overall Canva website pros and cons. But either way, your buttons probably aren't gonna be animated like a non-Canva website button might be, and so you really wanna draw attention. Make that button obvious that people need to click it. So even like a drop shadow like you can see on ours could work out great for you. So you add that payment link that you created in Stripe to this buy button, you gotta link it up, and then you can click publish and watch it work. Now, assuming you're still in test mode, just like we were in the beginning with Stripe, you can test this out without using real money. So use these credit card numbers with any kind of future expiration date that you want to put in there. Visa would be 4242424242 blah, 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 over and over. And then MasterCard would be 555555555 with four fours at the end. So when you're testing out this digital product, you would just fill out the entire form like a visitor would, and then you click pay and test out the download. And it should work just like normal. You should be able to have access to the file. Now, if if you want, because there's no like return back button, right? Because these are two separate platforms, separate softwares. That's another con we talked about in our pros and cons of 
selling digital products on a Canva website video, check it out below. If you want to add a return to our site section, you can. You can paste your website link or a bit.ly link, which is just like a free shorter link that you create on bit.ly. You would just add that to the end of your custom message like we do here, where they can get the product that they just purchased and then it says return to site. It is not pretty, it's kind of clunky, but it does work and it could be an option if that's really important to you. I know I just threw a lot at you and Canva in general is a lot. There's a lot going on, which is probably why you all have a ton of questions for us that you keep throwing at us, which we love. But the best way to get this question answered is to join our training hub. Our digital communications training hub is a place where people can ask us questions and get prioritized answers. We're either gonna email you back or we're gonna record a video if you need to screen share and show you exactly what to do walking you through step by step. If you don't need more help in Canva, hold on a second because I got a message for you too. But I do wanna say our training hub is less than the price of like tech support and you can think of us as like your communication support. We do have a link just for Canva users below, but your questions do not have to be limited just to Canva. We talk about all sorts of digital communications in the hub. We've got videos, trainings, webinars, downloadables, all already in there, whole courses for all sorts of digital communications need. We're talking email, we're talking social media, we're talking websites. There's a lot that can be talked about and we've talked about a lot and we would love to hear your questions if you need more support. That's what we're here for. Jump in for a month if you wanna try it out, get your questions answered, get out, that's fun. Or you can get an annual membership for a cheaper rate. Now, if you don't need more Canvas support, but maybe you have something you think you can offer others who might need digital communications assistance, maybe some trainings you want to create, we are opening applications for our hub creators. Now, this is a huge benefit to you because you get 50% commission on anybody that joins our hub using your affiliate link that you'll get as a hub creator. And we do all the hosting, so you don't have to worry about like hosting the course and taking care of payments and all that good stuff. We've got all of that already set up, so you don't have to worry. You just create the training content, tell people where they can buy it, make sure they use your link and you get paid doing it, which is very cool. And we're very excited about offering this option as a new opportunity in 2024. So we will be working through those applications and accepting new hub creators slowly, but surely throughout this year and beyond, of course. All right, I've been talking enough. If this video was helpful for you, make sure to subscribe to our channel because you know, we're gonna keep making videos to help you out. We help people sharing hope, healing and light online. Our hub does the same thing. If you wanna help people spread hope, healing and light online too, definitely apply to be a creator in our hub or join the hub if you need more trainings and wanna ask some questions or just subscribe because we'll be here. See you in the next video.